You know, you're asking people to vote yes, but then when the voice asks for something, a lot of the time I'm guessing you're going to say no. Let well, me just... the voice, as one of the principles put forward, and in the yes pamphlet makes it very clear, the voice will not have the right of veto. Understand. Government decision stays the same. Of well, you say you understand, Ben, but, but not all of the listeners, if, if people listen to some of the debate that has gone on over the, the last few months, they don't know that. Okay. They don't know that. They think that this is about creating special rights above everyone else. Now, our system of government will not change. There's no, there won't be someone sitting in the cabinet room. There won't be someone who's not elected sitting in the parliament. And that's why I say this is a modest request. This is just an opportunity to listen. Now, the, the concern that Indigenous Australians have is about that practical outcomes of health and education sure. and housing and incarceration rates. We need to do better. Can and I just ask you, Just I know you've said you have great respect for some of the architects of The Voice. I wonder if you agree with them on some of the following points. Professor Megan Davis says, the Indigenous Voice to Parliament will be able to speak to the Cabinet, to Ministers, to Public Servants, and the Reserve Bank. Yes or no, will the voice be able to speak directly to the RBA? Well, I can't talk directly to the RBA board. So no? And, and I'm the Prime Minister. No, Ben. Okay. And, and, Thomas and people Mayo. know the idea. No, Ben, what what this is about... No, no, hang on. You've no, answered can, that. Can I've I, got a few more that I've got to get through. Can I make this point? Because I know where you're reading from. You're reading from the no pamphlet. I, I, I'm, no, I'm uh, not reading... Excuse me, Prime Minister. Well, that's I'm in the not no pamphlet. Reading, excuse me. Well, that quote I'm is in the no reading, pamphlet. Excuse me. Well, it is. I am not reading from the no pamphlet. I'm reading from my own questions that I have written. No, so that's that fine. I, so that, that, that quote is in the me, no pamphlet. Let me finish. So that I don't misquote people sure. like Megan Davis or Thomas Mayo. Thomas Mayo says the voice will help to tear down institutions, pressure governments to pay the rent, pr pay reparations and compensation, and punish politicians who fail to deliver. So I'm keen to know, what does pay the rent mean? Well, I disagree with that. But Are I'll, there going I'll, to be reparations? I'll, no, Ben. I'll make this w point. Wouldn't it stand on, to can, reason? Can I, no, I'm, I'm on a flow well, here. Well, when I you finish... Ask, you've, just, you've just accused me of reading from a pamphlet no, I wasn't reading from. No, no, I didn't. So I said me... those quotes are from the no pamphlet, which they All are. All right, I'll listen back to that. Are. But anyway, let, let me just focus on the important thing. Surely, as part of the Uluru Statement, we have a voice, we have treaty, we have truth-telling. As part of a treaty... Won't there be compensation? If there is, I mean, that's not totally unexpected. This isn't about a treaty, Ben. But there are three parts of the Uluru is, Statement. Yeah, and this is not... So you're talking about the voice. This is not about a treaty. But as part of treaty, which we this guess is, will be a following step... This is not about a do treaty. Do you foresee that compensation would be this paid? This is not about a treaty. This isn't about that. 